Speaking of weather, Sad Mac is on Fitzroy Island in far north Queensland this morning. I am. It's a beautiful spot. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, team. And uh, one of the real motivating factors for me personally wanting to get here was I'd heard about this Turtle Rehabilitation Centre. And Jenny is the lovely lady behind it all with a number of amazing volunteers. We're going to see more from you later on, but I just want to get a little um, taste of why do the turtles end up here? So what sort of issues are bringing them here? So a lot of the issues are man-made, so they get ingestion of marine debris, plastics, entanglement and discarded fishing net, but they also get natural ones like predators like sharks and crocodiles. So they really do suffer a lot of problems. In a moment, uh, we're going to show you uh, a little snippet of our visit to the Turtle Rehab Centre. Uh, thank you, Jenny. We'll have more with you later on as well, but let's do your weather first. Sunrise Weather, brought to you by Beacon's in-home lighting design service. Live brighter by booking your in-home lighting design service today. A few showers for Cairns and Townsville, also some rain expected for Mackay and Mount Isa, partly cloudy for Rockhampton and Bundaberg, 29 for Brisbane, shower or two, similar conditions for the Gold Coast. Fine for Burke and Tamworth, sunny for Dubbo and Broken Hill. 28, mostly sunny, looking pretty good for Sydney today. Mostly sunny for Canberra as well, also 28. Fine for Ballarat, partly cloudy for Warrnambool. 29, becoming sunny for Melbourne, that's where we'll be for tomorrow's show. Mostly sunny for Geelong, early showers for Launceston. 25 for Hobart, partly cloudy. Also cloudy for Mount Gambia, 24 possible morning shower for Adelaide, partly cloudy for Port Lincoln and Sejuna, 34 and partly cloudy for Darwin, cloudy for Albany and Bunbury, 25 for Perth and mostly sunny, sunny for Kalgoorlie and Geraldton and mostly sunny for Caratha. Uh, here is a little taste of uh, what happened when we visited the Turtle Rehab Centre here at Fitzroy Island. Check it out. and you're pulling an animal back from the brink of death. These animals have been around for over 150 million years, so they deserve to get back in there. Tell us about Jet. Jet was found stranded on a beach, oh, suffering from starvation. Oh, oh. Was that a greeting? <laughs> was that a friendly I greeting? Think, I think actually, yes. I think Jet was going, splash you, Sam. Yeah, yeah it's like feeding the prawns in here. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think my life would ever turn out like this, but these animals are just amazing. I was in my element and to see them up close, it's really special. We're going to have more on that later on, including the full feature piece where I actually get to hold a turtle, which blew my mind. Um, but what can you say to people who might be watching this and think, I want to help, I want to get involved? So I think the main thing is awareness of the threats that these animals are suffering. So if you see them out in the wild, please report it. And also, if you'd like to help, go onto Cairns Turtle Rehabilitation Centre Facebook page and become involved. Love your work, Jenny. All right, guys, we'll have more on that later on. It's really special. And one of the real draw cards here, everyone who comes to Fitzroy Island wants to go and see these turtles up close before they're eventually released. So mm. I love what they do. And we'll be back with more in half an hour. There's some people out there doing amazing things. Yeah, yeah they are.